What's going on guys? How's it going? Welcome to another video where today we're putting the Maxon Design Sport Extension on the S3. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So here she is. I literally have not even opened the box yet. Um, see what it looks like. See how easy this is going to be. And then uh, go from there. I'll put the link to this spoiler in the description. But I'd imagine it's pretty damn simple to install. Wow, this is actually a lot bigger than I um, a lot bigger than I thought. Does it go on like that? Does it? I'll unbag this, guys, and then um, go from there. See what, see how she fits. So straight away, I managed to line it up, and it actually looks insane. That's actually gonna look so good, man. When it's all like properly down. Not too bad at all. Um, but you can see up close, so basically we've got some 3 m tape on this side. It's like a sort of matte black on the um, inside of the uh, extension. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't it too bad. Obviously this side is all gloss um, with a protective film all over it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to head and clean the uh, spoiler anyway, get the surface all clean. And then hopefully this should go on fairly easily and don't have one side on more than the other because i'd hate that that would give me ocd as hell okay so i'll go ahead and clean the surface but uh it's gonna be quite a tr tricky one especially on my own so i'm gonna try and put the camera mount it on the side here and do my best and do like a little time lapse of me trying to fit this thing because i want to get it bang on each side the same um so yeah let's get this right first uh, first time Okay, so I've just gone over the whole spoiler with the heat gun, um, just to make it sort of mould to the original spoiler. And obviously it's just plastic, it, it bends very easily and you can sort of mould it with the shape of the spoiler. Um, and obviously getting the M3 tape um, to get nice and warm, it's obviously gonna stick a lot better. As you guys can see, it's not a bad fitment at all. And this is the end. So like it's still got a little gap here. And then on this side, I still got a little gap here. So I'm pretty sure it's fully like symmetrical sort of thing. Um, and I'm quite positive that the logo is in the dead center of the spoiler. But yeah, I've literally just been warming it all up, pushing it all down, making sure that definitely gonna be 100% okay there okay so let's go ahead and take this off oh that's beautiful oh yeah wow that has hit the spot all right I wonder if there's Another one on the bottom. I can see. Get a torch, right? Nah. So the bottom of this spoiler is actually like a mat, which is, not gonna lie, quite disappointing. I would have liked it better if it was all gloss like the top. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get the car outside and uh, we'll have a proper look in, in the sunlight. 
So I've just tried to get off this uh, sort of logo sticker. Unfortunately, it's uh, very difficult to get off. It's not going to come off very easy. I'm going to use a heat gun and get that off. I wish that would just be a simple sticker that you can just pull off. Like I don't really see, but like, no one's going to want a random logo of your map of your. Uh, you know, it's like, it's bad enough that these ones are in the middle, but really, what is this about? And this is, yeah, it's not like a nice sticker that just comes off, it's like, gooey and... Anyway. Okay, so I've got that sticker off, we managed to use some... Actually, on camera, it's... Oh, no, it's not, it's just... But uh, I managed to get it off with um, some glue remover. Unfortunately, the glue gun did not do the job. So, I'm going to pull this down. I'm currently... Still de dealing with this fuel fueling issue. Um, Change the low pressure fuel pump to the RS3 one. Unfortunately, I'm still getting an error. So that's a good start. Exactly what I want, anyway. All right, let's get this baby in the sunlight. It is absolutely filthy, by the way. So bear with me. It's not. It's prime. You can see on the on the bonnet. It's absolutely filthy. Alright, so I gander. Ho ho ho. Yeah, that really does look really rude. Very in your face, isn't it? But yeah, no, it definitely makes the back ends look <laughs> a lot more naughtier, to be fair. That is rude, man. Yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with that. Okay, guys, so I've just realised this glue remover is actually marked underneath here. Like, that's actually taken off whatever this is i'm guessing it's like would it be paint i'm not 100 sure but it's actually yeah it's taken it off so that's absolutely brilliant that's exactly what i want um i'm gonna have to somehow try and paint over that which is just ridiculous like i've literally just had to make myself another job here i have to mask all this off i'm gonna have to paint basically oh i don't even know um, <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. That is so freaking annoying, man. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. So yeah, that's how you, uh, that's what the Maxton splitter looks like anyway. I've always liked the look of these anyway, so I've been meaning to get one for ages. It's just unfortunate that to get it into Jersey, um, where I live, it's um, it's at fifty pounds postage just for this little thing, which is probably from the UK anyway. So, but it is what it is. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Um, I've got that Fiesta to do. I've got all the service parts down there, and um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys have a nice weekend if I upload this today. So yeah, see you later, guys.